Uh, hello, so today we are doing this problem called sort list and the problem is that we get a, a sort we have to sort um, a linked list in O of log n time and using um, constant space complexity and this is the linked list and so we want to sort it um, so something like this and like this um, so it was not sorted and we need to sort it like this so what I'm going to use to solve this is something very similar to merge sort or actually just merge sort but applied to linked list um, I'm going to sort it recursive I'm going to do it recursively which means that it's not constant space um, complexity but recursively but I will follow up in another video um, with it um, with the merge sort done iteratively not in this video though um, but yeah so let's let's look into it um, so merge sort um, divide the problem divide the the array usually if it's done in an array divide it into half and then keeps dividing into half and at each steps merges in the right order so that at the end we have a sorted um, array we're going to do the same thing uh, in this case we are going to uh, find the middle of the linked list um, and then um, divide it into two divide it into two two linked lists and sort each merge then the third step is to merge the two linked lists um, in the right order, right? And so, usually when something is recursive, uh, we need to find a base case. So our base case is if um, if there is nothing, which means not head, or if there is just one node, then that's also sorted by default, right? So that's um, the so this is the base case. Um, now, the reducing the input size, the way we are going to do it is is pretty much just by reducing by half right dividing it into two so dividing um dividing the linked list into two um and then the other the, uh, how are we going to do it since this is a linked list we can't just divide the length by two we can do that, but that will require an open. Um, so a, cl a more clever approach than just finding the length, dividing them by two, and then going again through the linked list to determine the position of that of that index. Instead of doing that, what we are going to do is just use two pointers approach, which have basically have, we can have. Um, let me just take this here. So like this. So using a slow and a fast pointer. This is a very common technique. This two, um, two pointers technique with the linked list. And so what we are going to do is we are going to have a slow pointer and a fast one. Right, and then a fast one that is that goes in here. And at, at each step we are going to advance the slow pointer by just one step so it will just go here but the fast pointer will go two steps so it will be here uh, let's take one that where it will be clear so let's take a list with let's say uh, eight for example here and so the fast pointer would be here at this point we move slow pointer to this and fast pointer moves to this and so now the fast pointer is done is at the end and you can see this is our middle um, this is our middle point this is where we need to divide by half um, the only thing is that this is the start of our second half right and we can keep, we need to keep track of another pointer at this point position here that will at position two here that we'll just call it let's say pre previous to slow right 
Why do we need this? Because we want to divide into half. So our first half would be this portion here. Our second half would be this portion here, right? And so what do we need to do to... We, this link here should not be there because we want them to be a separate, separate list. And then we'll reconnect them in the merge step, right? And so to do that, we are going to just say previous.next is equal to none so that we can or nil in Java so that we can break this link and iterate on each list separately, right? And so in order so the first half would be the first half would be from head, so this is usually head points to that one. So it's from head to create, right? And the second half would be from slow to fast, right? From this pointer here to this pointer fast here. Um, and it doesn't matter here that the second half is bigger than one, bigger with uh, with um, with uh, with one extra node than the first half. That's just because the number of nodes is odd. If the number of nodes was even, um, we can have an even um, split, right? So, but it doesn't matter with our merge sort. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. So let's code this up. Um, so the first thing we need to do is the same trick, which is that um, if the list is just two elements, we need a way to be able to divide into the first and the half. Um, and so we need a pre previous for, um, so we need a previous for this for, so for that we need a dummy node to handle that. And so we're just going to create a dummy node that there is a list node of value zero. And then we are going to do while, so, um, no, actually, let's just first do the base case, right? So we said here, which is this. So if that's the case, then just return head. Then we need our previous, um, our slow and fast pointers. Um, so previous starts out as nothing, right? And then slow starts out as head, and fast also starts out as head. And when do we stop? So when, when, um, so when fast either is nil, so we reach it like something like this, or when fast that next is nil, which means we reach something like this. Both cases we should be done. For the even fast, the even case fast would be at the nil position. For the odd case, odd number of nodes case, it will be here. So we need to handle this case. So while um fast and fast that next, um we need to start advancing the nodes. So what should happen? So we need to change previous slow and fast pointers. So we know that the previous pointer here will get updated to be the slow value, right? So each time we progress, so the slow was here before, and then previous here, right? Since we want previous to be the tail of the first list, we need to advance it when slow advances. Um, before we update the, the pointer slow, we need to set the previous value to, um, to be that slow value, right? And so pre would be slow. And slow will advance with one step, which is slow down next. And fast will advance by two steps, so it would be fast down next down next. And at the end, the first half would be head to previous, so we need to cut the length. And so we need to do uh, previous down next is equal to none. And then we need to sort the first half and the second half. So first half, or uh, let's just call it left. Um, that would be sort list. We want to sort that. So sort list on um, what's the head of the sort of the left side? That's just head, right? And then the right side is just slow, right? It's from slow to fast, so it's slow. Starts at the slow pointer. Um, and now we need to merge the two and return that. So we need to merge left and right. So we need to define a function that merges. 
so we need to merge left right um, so to do that we'll just compare and put the smaller value first compare each two nodes from each and put the smaller value first and then compare again the new value just what merge of, of um, of merge sort usually does. So if we have, let's say, a, a linked list with four, uh, three, and then the second half, let's imagine it's three, uh, five, like this, or maybe with something like eight here. So we'll compare one and three in our, and to do the result, one and three, one is smaller, so we put one, and we advance the pointer. So we would have two pointers here. And we'd have a pointer to our own new list so we advance this when we used its value and then our next pointer will compare three and four three is smaller so it will put three advance the pointer um, and then advance this pointer we compare four and five four is smaller so we put four um, and then we advance the pointer again and we advance the pointer of this one and three and five three is smaller so we put three and now since we are at null for this one, we exit the main while loop, our main while loop, and then go again and check if any of the two lists still has remaining element. If any of them still has remaining element, we just put these remaining elements at the end of this one, right? And so the remaining elements here are 5 and 8, so we just put them, right? So that's the gist of what we will be doing and so um, for the merge um, here. So while both are contain elements then we will compare them and put the smaller one so while left and right um, and then we need also a dummy node so that it keeps track of this here of this list since first we don't know what's in it so we'll just put a dummy node and then at the end we can return dummy that next so that would be list node of zero and then at the end here we can return dummy that next as the measured list and here we said we want to compare uh, this value with the right value, right? And so if it's less, then we will put the left value, right? So uh, we need to also keep track. So we said we need a node that keeps track of where we're at at the list so that we can point next to it. And so we need a current node here that is equal, starts out as equal to dummy. And then every time we have a new element, we say current dot next is equal to um, this new node which is just left right and then we need to advance left as we said earlier and then once we do that we um, we need to advance current also right so current would be equal now to current dot next now else well, we do something similar, but this one is right at this time, and we advance the right pointer, and we advance current. Um, so this is also the same thing as current equal to left, right? That's the same thing, current equal to left. Um, okay, and then after that, we need to uh, actually we can make this one outside of the loop because it does the same thing outside of the if and else. Um, so we would have this, and now at the end, maybe one of them still has some remaining elements, so we need to just put them in at the end of our list. Um, so we can do it with a while loop, but it's easier to just say, okay, current dot next is going to be equal to whichever one has the remaining element. And that we can just do with left or right. So if left has remaining element, it will assign it and it will stop. But if right has remaining element, it will assign it and it will stop also. And that's pretty much it for the merge step. So we can run this. Uh, it's pretty. Okay, it looks like it, it, 
it's working. Okay, so this solution passes, um, and uh, um, the if we look at the time complexity here, this is very similar to merge sort. It um, time complexity. So basically, these recursive function we'll call them at most log of n time because we divide each time by two, so that will give us log of n um, complexity. Because log of n times we'll call the function, but but we, in each call, we are doing this traversal here, which goes through the entire list. And so that's n log n um, time complexity. So the recursive functions are called log of n times, and then each call does n operations, and so that's open log n com time complexity. Space complexity, so we are just using some extra pointers. Um, but the you can see that the recursive calls that are done over log n time uh, mean that we we have in the stack um, we we use over log n space right so it's not um it's not con constant complexity um, if we did merge sorts uh, iteratively there is a way to do that it would have been of one um, I will hopefully do that in another video. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it for this problem. See you next time. Bye.